Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, and today I'm going to be reviewing these two new palettes from Dose of Colors. We have the Sassy Siennas and the Blushing Berries. In this video, I'm going to be sharing swatches of each palette and one eye tutorial for each palette as well. So to start off this video, let's get into some swatches. So we're going to do the Sassy Siennas first. So this palette has an array of just corals and warm browns to dark browns. So it goes from light to dark, starting with Oh So Sassy, Bossy, Foxy, Brassy, and the darkest color, Stay Sassy. So for blushing berries, it obviously has a lot of berry colors. It has some mauves, it has like a light pink, deep plums, and a black. From light to dark, the colors are Berry Chic, Roseberry, Berry Pop, Mixed Berries, and the darkest color, Berry Black. So before I forget to mention, these palettes are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and talc free. So that's really awesome because I know a lot of people are only starting to use cruelty free brands for their everyday makeup looks. If I'm not mistaken, these palettes were around $32 each. Honestly, I love these palettes because they're so small and compact that they won't take much room out of my makeup bag. And between these two palettes, you'll have like every color that you would probably want because I know I'm super into like the mauves and the corals, but I also love the classic browns. So as you will see in the eye tutorial, these colors are very pigmented. And honestly, I don't really use glitter that often, but I think that a glitter on top of these looks would be so perfect and just add that finishing touch. Unfortunately, these palettes do not come with glitter, but that's why I think these palettes are so great for beginners because I always recommend starting off with mattes and then once you feel comfortable with mattes, then go into the glitters and the shimmers. Each compact does come with a little mirror, and I think it's a pretty good size too. So let's get on to the tutorials. We're going to be starting off with Sassy Siennas and then moving our way into Blushing Berries. So for this look, we're actually only going to be using these three colors. These two are really pink. I know it kind of doesn't really come off in the camera, but this one is a really hot pink coral, and this one is kind of a muted down coral. So I'm going to go in with this foxy color and put that all over my lid. You first want to pat the eyeshadow down onto your lid and then start to blend it into the crease. So my first impression is it's super pigmented. I mean, as you can see, and this color is gorgeous. It reminds me of like all the really pretty colors in like ABH palettes that are like that reddish brown color. Now I'm going to start blending that out. I'm actually going to bring it up a little bit more into the crease and then blend that out. Next we're going to take this color brassy and actually put it on top of that color on our lid. I'm really into like a smoky eye. So like the darkest color on the lid, I love that look. But obviously you have to start off with the lightest and buff that into the crease. Last but not least, I'm taking Stay Sassy, this dark rich brown, and putting that on my lid as well. Then once again, blend that out. We're gonna go back in with the lightest shade Foxy and buff that back into our crease. So that's it for the lid. I'm gonna go do this one and then come back to do my lower lash line. So my face makeup is pretty much done. So now we can move on to the lower lash line. We're gonna just go in with this dark brown. So now we can move into the second palette, the more colorful palette, Blushing Berries. This is what the palette looks like. It is gorgeous and I'm so excited to play around with these colors because normally I do go for a brown smoky eye or like a warm toned smoky eye, but today I'm going to do something different. I think I'm going to try to use this brush and see how it does. I'm going to start with Roseberry and put it on my lid. Look at that pigment y'all. That is like two swipes. That's crazy. So first I'm just going to pat it on my lid. 
Then I'm going to use another brush to blend it out. So when I tried to blend it out, the pigment did kind of like disappear a little bit. Kind of got muted, so I'm just going to add a little bit more color and then blend it out again. I'm going to try this color out and buff it into my crease. So I'm going to take this color, which is mixed berries, and put it on the inner corner and outer corner. Alright, I'm going to blend this out a little bit. I'm going to go back in with Roseberry and put that on the middle part of my lid. I'm going to use a pencil side of the brush and take this black. Okay, this pencil brush is amazing look. I feel like I could do a better wing with this than like actual liquid liner. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to use this black as a little smoky eyeliner. So just try to smoke it out on your lash line. But I'm going to do a really thin line. Going back in with the lightest shade, I'm going to take that and blend out my crease a little bit more. I really do wish I had like a warm brown or like a light warm brown to blend it out because I feel like it's a little pink for the crease. So I think I'm gonna have to like clean it up a little bit. So I'm pretty much done with my face makeup. Now we're gonna move into the lower lash line. I wanna make it super dark. I wanna go in with the black and buff it out and make it really, really smoky. So I think we're gonna take the two darkest colors and just smoke that out onto my lower lash line. I also cleaned up the wings a bit with some concealer. They're kind of pointy, very skinny. I don't know how I feel about them, but we're going to roll with it. I'm going to take mixed berries and start with this one. Be careful, there is a little bit of fallout that I see that just went on. But we can deal with that later. Then I'm going to take this brush and buff it out. There is a little bit of excess of like the lighter colors, so it's kind of mixing in. It's giving a really pretty color. So I ended up not using the black. I think it looks pretty dark even just using the second to darkest color. So I'm going to keep it like this. Let me go do my mascara and I will be right back. Okay guys, this is the completed look with the Blushing Berries palette from Dose of Colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have direct links to each of these palettes in my description box below. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>